Five easy steps to edit your first video with the Movavi Video Editor. If this is the first time that you're editing a video, which it likely is since you're watching this video editing tutorial for beginners, it can be quite intimidating seeing the software interface for the first time. This is why it's a big advantage that you have chosen the Movavi Video Editor because of its simplicity and yet powerful tools that will allow you very easily to get started. You can download this editor through the link in the description below and start your seven day free trial, allowing you to follow along the steps that I will show you making your first video in five simple steps. When the trial ends or immediately after, you can buy the program with a 20% discount. More info about that later in the video. And if you decide to use my link in the description, the first 20 subscribers of the channel will get a free My Channel Pack effect included in the purchase as well. Point one, import your files. Before we even start editing, you need to import some files that we're going to use in the project. To do that, click Add Files and upload them from your computer or simply drag and drop them into the editor window. A pro tip is to keep your raw footage nicely organized on your hard drive. Every time that I've been out recording, I make sure that I offload the footage right away when I get back home into the respective folders. I have a folder name that is representative for the video project. And under that, I have subfolders containing different sub elements. One folder could be the primary camera, often called Cam A. There will often be some B-roll and maybe an audio track. And because I often do drone tutorials, I will also have a folder containing the screen recordings. This is of course up to you how you want to organize this, but it will help you going forward, making sure that you have everything that you need before you start your edit, despite not having anything to do with actually editing your video. If you are missing something, you have the option to record additional video by using, for instance, your webcam. You can decide to capture your screen in case that you want to explain something or you can record pure audio if you want to narrate some of your video clips. Note the screen capture is not included in the package and would have to be bought separately. As a supplement to your footage, there are sample background and intro videos available. There are quite a few included in the package that you can use right away. When your footage have been imported from the media bin, you can hover with the mouse over the clip and preview the content in the preview window that is located on the right side of the interface. From here, you can also change the preview resolution as well as change the aspect ratio of the video in case you want to do something else than the default 16 times 9. An aspect ratio of 69 is what is being used on YouTube for the normal long form videos. So let's keep it at that. Add files to the timeline. The edit happens on the timeline and that is default divided into three tracks. One for titles, one for video clips and one for audio. You can add more tracks later if you want. But for now, let's stick with the three default tracks. A glance at your selection in the media bin will show that the, the footage have been nicely organized in audio and video clips. To start making your videos, drag some of your clips into the timeline or simply double tap them and they will jump onto the timeline automatically. If you have a group of clips that you want to apply, those can be marked and dragged simultaneously. Quick use tools. Once you have added your clips to the timeline, you can start trimming them by using the new blade tool. That will seamlessly let you go through the timeline and place cuts where you see fit. You can very easily shift between the selection and the blade tool by using the shortcut A and B, making it very easy to select the parts that you want to remove by simply highlighting it and pressing delete. Using the blade tool is much easier and faster than the traditional split tool where you have to move the playhead each time that you want to make a cut. When you delete the clips, there will be gaps between them. You can get rid of those by enabling the Disable Gaps option that is located in the beginning of the video track, where you also have the option to hide the full track in case that you need that. Something that's useful if you're working with multiple tracks of the same kind. In this case, it's a promotional video for a nice place that's called the Dodo Khalid. And here the audio is not linked to the video. 
So I will be starting out by trimming the audio track, making sure that I have a really nice speech flow before I will add the video on top of the audio track. You can use the waveforms shown on the audio track to help guide the cutting process. If this has been a talking head video where I was talking to and explaining something to the camera, I would have started out with that part, making sure to trim the cam A before I proceed. You can add markers to your clip and mark moments of interest for easier navigation throughout the video. There's a selection of tools that will allow you to make modifications of each clip. Where you can crop it to cut off the edges, you can make color adjustments to enhance and adjust the colors of each clip. You can easily dive into the clip properties and edit those for each individual clip. If you prefer to use transitions, there are a wizard that will help you apply a transition to either a single clip or to all of them at once. Be very careful with this, as too many transitions in your video will make it look unprofessional. A much better option is to apply them manually and intentionally from the transition menu. Here you have a huge selection of transitions that you can try out and pick the one that you like. Some of them do require a subscription, but there's quite a large selection included per default that will get you started right away. More tools, the advanced options. These quick use tools will allow you to do the basic edit, but there are some pretty hefty advanced features included with this editor. Click more tools in the menu on the left to open up a list of tools for audio and video. There are a lot of options in there and more than I will cover in this video as I want to keep it simple to get you started. I will include some of these in upcoming tutorials here on the channel and I will include them in a playlist. So if you're not already a subscriber, this will be a really, really good time for you to consider so you don't miss out on these. But I do want to give you an example how powerful these tools can be. One of them is the stabilization tool. In case you have footage, either because it's shot handheld or as in this case, it's shot by a drone that was flying under windy conditions, you want to stabilize this to get it more smooth. This is possible with just a few steps. You can play around and adjust the intensity of the stabilization and you can preview the result. And if you're happy with it, you can save it so it's being applied to the clip. So once you're happy with all the individual clips, you can reorganize the timeline in the order that you prefer. You can simply drag and drop the clips to the desired position. And because the audio is in a separate track, it will not be affected. You do have the option to link the audio to the video clips by enabling this little link icon that is located in the beginning of the audio track. But that makes no sense in this edit. You can add titles to your edit from the titles menu where you have a huge selection of fun and stylish titles that you can add to your video. And some of them even come with animations. You just drag the title onto the timeline on the position where you want it and make sure that it has a suitable duration. You want the title to stick around long enough for the viewer to be able to read it, especially if there's an animation included. And you want to end it before it gets annoying. If you double tap the title in the preview window, you will have access to the title properties where you can change the text and other properties of the text that you have chosen. If you're aiming for a specific video length, you can see the total length of the video in the lower left corner of the editor. Export the result. So by following these straightforward steps, you now have a video that's ready to share with the world or your hard drive. To export, you need to open the export window by clicking the blue export button. Here you find a huge selection of options that you can explore, even the possibility to upload to popular social media platforms directly. But to get your first project going, stick with MP4 and just add a title to your project. Make sure to save it in a location where you can find it and choose the highest quality if possible. Now you just have to press start and wait for the software to do its thing and render the final video. If you have been following the steps in this tutorial, you will be able to turn around simple videos in half an hour or so. Video editing does not need to be complicated and complex, and I'm pretty sure that anyone can do it. But let me know what you think. Is there anything that you want me to elaborate on with this video editor? Then let me know in the comments. Before I'm going to show you the final result, I do want to remind you that you can download the Movavi Video Editor 2024 through a link in the description below. Here you can start your seven day free trial and test out the flow by yourself. 
After the trial ends, or immediately after, you will be able to buy the software with a 20% discount by applying this code during checkout. If you decide to buy the software through my link, the first 20 that completes the purchase will get a free My Channel Pack effects as a gift included in the purchase. So now the computer has finished and this is what the final video looks like. In a field of the island of Lolland, overlooking the Smallland waters, a monument that combines sculptures and music in a landscape full of history creates a unique experience. The Dodo Kalit, which means in Greek 12 stones, consists of 12 stone columns, each 7 to 9 meters high, each weighing around 20 to 45 tons, where the upper 2 meters are caved like heads all facing the center of the circle that is 40 meters in diameter. Under the circle of sitting stones, a 12-channel sound system is installed, allowing spatial electronic music to play inside the circle daily from sunrise to sunset all year round. The 12 stone figures are made by an artist and sculptor that's called Thomas Carisola. He's hoping once he has finished the Dodo Khalid, it would be some sort of a zodiac of life. If you want to know more about the artist and the specific location there, I will of course leave a link in the description below. There's definitely a place to see if you're in my neck of the woods and the best part is it's free, free to go and explore. One thing that I should mention is that if you want to do different variations of uh, your video or you maybe want to change the final video that you are putting out, you should save the project and you do that from the project menu on the file, you have the option to save the project so you can open it up later again and continue your edit. If you want to know more about the Movavi Video Editor 2024, I have compiled a playlist that you will be able to access through this card. I hope you liked this video. If you did, then feel free to give it a like. If you didn't like it, feel free to press the dislike button twice. Thank you for watching and I'll be seeing you around.